Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kaylin. You guys can find me on Instagram, kind of everywhere, at Cordially K. I'll have it here if you guys want to see that. But I went into Sephora today, and I went to buy this concealer from Makeup Forever that I literally adore. I go into Sephora, and guess what, you guys? It was discontinued. And it was the first time that a product was discontinued that I genuinely loved. So I was like, you know what, we're gonna do a little video. And so let's get into it. I've got some shower products, I've got some skincare products and some makeup products, some hygiene products, you know. I went from head to toe on this kind of thing. Ooh, what should we start with? Let's start with my skincare, because I feel like these are products that like, I will actually, like actually boycott. Okay, so since it, we're going into summer, I'm just gonna start with the sunscreen that I, I absolutely adore. This one is by Shiseido. This is their Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector. This-ish is bomb. Here's why. So it's, I always get the 42 SPF. And I really like it, cause like, do, 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 do you guys see how liquidy that is? Which, kind of weird, right? But um, this is so awesome under your makeup. And like the scent is just clean. Probably the number one product in this entire video. This is the a Rose Hip Bioregenerate Oil by Pi. This is a super sensitive skincare brand. Um, and this is just the freaking best. I'm on my second bottle. I have crazy sensitive skin. It's literally my favorite. I've been using this for over a year now. And I'm telling you, like, it basically, like, solves all my skin concerns. Like, it just hydrates my skin. And while I do have oilier skin, putting an oil on is not something that I am afraid of because basically when you have oily skin, it's your skin overproducing oils. And so when you put oils on oils, it tells your skin, hey, we're hydrated. Don't reproduce those um, oils or sebum and make that skin oily. It's like, no, we're good. And so your skin is just hydrated and glowy. I love this. This is like the one skincare product that like I will legit come for you pie if you guys ever get rid of the Rosehip Bio Regenerate Oil. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, bye. Okay, next thing, which this is kind of funny, we're totally going like in backwards order of the skincare routine, but um, this is the Skin Medica AHA and BHA Cleanser. Um, I actually use this as a mask a few times a week because I have acne prone skin, and so I put it on my skin when it's dry and then leave it on for like five minutes and then I um, rinse and then kind of treat it as the cleanser that it is. And um, it's just like keeping breakouts at bay. I swear this is why my breakout here has gone so quickly because I immediately came home and put this bad boy on and I swear it does wonders. Um, the reason why I like doing the AHA and the BHA by Skin Medica is because AHA, sorry if I'm talking super fast, we have a lot of products to get through, but AHA, so what AHA does is it resurfaces your skin. Then the BHA goes down and penetrates. So it's really great to be using both AHA and BHA, which is glycolic and salicylic acid together because they are two peas in a pod. What? Yes. Okay. Then, next product I'm going to talk about. This is, we are literally going backwards. This is the double cleansing product that I use. So when I am cleansing, I will use this Green Clean Melt Away Oil by Pharmacy. And it's just like a, yeah, like a cushiony balm that I use to get all my makeup off. Then I go in with my cleanser and I just use a cream cleanser. And then I go into the rest of my skincare routine and I freaking am obsessed. Like I'm so obsessed. And then this is like, this next one's a new product for me. So, um, one moisturizer that I continually go back to, there's actually two, the Belief Aqua Balm, which is very surprising because I'm not like a huge like belief person. Um, I think that moisturizer though is incredible. It's so great if you have sensitive skin. It's just like simple, does exactly what your skin needs, balm. But the one that like I just always go back to is the Kate Somerville Ghost Milk Moisturizer. I am obsessed with that moisturizer. I have crazy sensitive skin as I've told you guys and there is nothing that has done so much for my skin like the Kate Somerville Goat's Milk Moisturizer. Um, but this one that I've been using recently is the Better Days Ahead by Pharmacy um, and this just like calms my skin and I wake up and I feel like it's new skin again. Um, I know that there is CBD in here, it's the restorative 
restore, <laughs> restorative, restorative cushion cream. Um, and I know that they have a little bit of um, CBD oil. And then um, what else we got? Hemp derived CBD oil and adaptogens. Um, I've never been like a huge CBD person, but I love the brand Pharmacy, so I was like, I'll give it a try. And honestly, I'm obsessed, and so I'll definitely be getting this when this runs out, which I don't do because I get so many things sent to me, but when you find something that works, you just, you have to have it, you know? Um, so yeah, freaking obsessed with this stuff. Okay, now I think that's it for skincare, really. Now let's jump in to body. There are, I don't know what it is about body products in me, but like I get hooked on body products more than I get hooked on really anything else. So the number one product that like I, I am, I'm about to boycott because I'm having a really hard time finding this in stores lately, but I will boycott Tree Hut if they ever stop selling this. This is their 24 hour body butter in almond and honey. Um, they have the Moroccan rose and they've got like the shea butter and like, all these other ones, but the Moroccan, or sorry, not the Moroccan honey, the almond and honey is the best one. I'm literally gonna put some on right now because I freaking love it. Oh my God, literally it's crack. Oh, I love it. It just like, is like, oh my God. And I'm like really like, uh, I love it so much that I'm like careful with when I use it. So I only use it right out of the shower and only in spots where I'm going to smell it. This one for me is the fragrance. Um, I, I mean, it's, I mean, it's hydrating, it's a lotion, but, um, for me, this is bomb for the fragrance. I don't really use it for hyd I mean, hydration. I really use it because I'm so obsessed with this almond honey smell that I just have to have it. So I always like use it very sparingly, like on my chest or on my arms so that when I'm like sleeping, I can smell it. I know that sounds so weird, but okay, there's literally a hair on my nose that's driving me crazy, you guys. Okay, yeah, but I freaking love that stuff. Um, also, I recently started using this Coco Cabana cream. Why is this stuff so much better and why was I doubting it for so long? It smells like summer. I probably won't use this in the winter because it smells like summer, but it's like this like, like pe not pina colada, but like, Oh, I should be like laying on the beach somewhere tanning. It's just like oh, so good. And then another um, Tree Hut product, Hut Shower Scrub. I use this before I tan. I always tan like once a week. I usually do Thursday so that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I'm in my prime. Um, but this is the Moroccan Rose by Tree Hut. And honestly, I really wish that they had the Shea Buddy Shea Butter, Shea Butter, the um, almond one, the almond and honey, because I think this one is still better than the Moroccan Rose, um, but I can't find the almond honey anywhere to save my life. So Tree Hut, like, let's get our lives together and make sure that um, the almond and honey is stocked up in all the stores. Thank you. Um, I freaking love it so much. But regardless, um, the smell is amazing in the Moroccan Rose one. I'm just super attached to the almond and honey one. I don't know. It's the fragrance, honestly, but I really love this. This is my favorite sugar scrub, and I like that it comes in like a big, what is this, like 13 ounces? This is 18 ounces, you guys. 18 ounces of sugar scrub, and I think I paid like $10 for it. Um, but yeah, it works really well and always makes my um, self tan go on super, super easily and seamlessly, and it blends so much more beautifully and um, easy than when I don't use it. So, okay. Now that we've just talked about basically prepping for my self-tan, let's talk about my self-tan. I'm very attached to the self-tanner that I have, and um, yeah, I'll argue it against every self-tanner out there. Um, it is the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I've been using this for a couple years. I freaking love it. Um, I have tried others. Um, I've tried Saint Tropez and I've seen a lot of videos where people are like, oh my gosh, comparing the two. And I'm just gonna be honest, this one is way better. It's just so much better. So there's color corrector in it, so you're not ever gonna look orange. And it's just like this deep color. I have it on me right now. And it's just this really pretty olive color. I love it, it's so gorgeous. I never get any streaking on it, um, but I always do do the sugar scrub before. Um, but yeah, I love the color in this one and it lasts a long time. I really don't like Saint Tropez because it washes off in like a day and a half, 
two days. You are lucky if you make it to day three on Saint Tropez. It does not stay on me for longer than two days and like day two I'm like yeah so this stays on for like a week like a full week. Um, if I am really wanting to like make it last a little bit longer on day four I'll put a like one more layer on and then I'll let it sit and then it'll last for another week. Like it literally lasts for so long and the color is so nice. I really do love this. Um, and I also like it because when it's drying, it's not like if you drop water on it, you're like going to have that like round spot where like that water dropped. I tried so many different self tanners and this one is just the best out of all of them. There is no competition. I have heard people love Bondi Sands. I haven't had the chance to try it, but I will be trying it. All right, so let's talk about makeup products. The freaking Beauty Blender, okay? This product, I don't care how many fake sponges there are on Amazon, there is no sponge that is as good as the Beauty Blender. This is so flawless, you can do an entire face with this product, and that is just so amazing. Honestly, if I could have come up with any product, if I could have been a part of the um, creation of any product, I wish I could have been a part of this because the technology in this is so innovative um, and it's just, yeah, it's an, awesome, it's an awesome product and it's like the only product that you can literally do your full face with. So I love this and I know another company will not come out with something that is like this. So my Beauty Blender is my number one makeup product that I cannot, will not, I refuse to get rid of. Speaking of tools, we're also going to talk about another um, brand that I just think cannot be matched. Um, it Cosmetics Brushes. This one is from the Velvet Luxe collection and I am obsessed. This is like my favorite contouring one if you've seen this little baby in my videos. I love It Cosmetic Brushes. If you guys saw that um, cloud makeup that I did and posted on my Instagram, that was done with all It Cosmetic Brushes. Um, a couple Morphe actually. So I did do two Morphe and one makeup forever brush, but they the rest was like it was like five it cosmetic brushes, um, just for the eyes. It is I mean like their products are just ugh, I love it cosmetic brushes. Um, they are so luxe. Yeah, they're just really great. Um, then we have the foundation. It is Urban Decay All Nighter. I freaking love this stuff. Also, I am literally the queen of losing caps. So don't come for me <laughs> about the caps. I mean, I guess if you've come to, you know, hate on someone for losing their caps, you've come to the right place. But um, I seriously am obsessed with this foundation. Me and this foundation have been tight for um, a couple years, literally since it came out. It has the most flawless coverage. I also, I don't have it here in front of me. It's literally in my bathroom. I just don't want to run in there. But the All Hours um, Full Coverage Foundation by Saint Laurent sits right next to Urban Decay on my like list of holy grails. Those two products are incredible. The Saint Laurent um, foundation, I know that everyone was like, oh, it's so good, it was so hyped up, and I was like, mm, is it really gonna live to the hype? Because most things that are like talked about like crazy really don't like live up to the hype. And so I tried the Saint Laurent foundation after my sister, who is also really good at makeup, was like, you actually have to try this. I did it so good like oh, so good but it's so expensive that I'm like I'm just gonna like save you for like when I'm really feeling like like bougie and like want to like save you for like these events and kinds of things because that foundation is bomb I am obsessed with both of those they are both amazing I can't like Saint Laurent Urban Decay you guys get rid of either of these foundations I will freak out this is the bye bye pores by um it cosmetics I love this one because it is a water-based foundation and it focuses on skin and I really notice a big difference. I actually prefer this one over the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Um, when my skin was a little bit more problematic, this one made more of a difference. It gives you that really nice poreless look, um, but it's water-based and so that's a big deal because silicone-based products, um, if you have sensitive or acne-prone skin, are not going to be a good mix for you and they were not a good mix for me and I always remember being like, I really want that like Smashbox like photo finish primer and that stuff like I cannot use that I refuse to use that at this point I know that they like only have it at Sephora um so go to Sephora get it it's 
it's gonna like make your life. I just love this primer. So good. It's helped me in my dark days as my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation did. Um, so a kind of new one is the Park of Princess for contour. Um, and I'm sure you guys have seen this one in my videos. This one is so great. It's just got like this nice in-between color um, that looks really, really great on skin. Um, and yeah, the finish is really gorgeous. Super easy to work with. Love, love, love. All right, on to the next one. This is my favorite lip color of all time. This is Whip. Sorry, I had to be a little extra about that because I'm freaking obsessed. You know, you know what I'm trying. Seriously, it's so good. I love this stuff. I'm just going to put it on right now. Uh-huh. Oh, I got it. I'm not like a huge fragrant person, but like clean smells are like my thing. And this has like a really nice clean smell. But I don't give a crap about the smell to be honest with you in this. Um, the freaking color is just so pretty and it looks so good on everybody. It just looks so good. And I actually have a hard time finding like nudes that I really like. Normally I'm down for the mauves, but occasionally I want to do something that's a little bit more neutral and less of like a mauve color. And I don't know, it's just kind of hard to find one that doesn't make me look washed out or like I'm trying too hard. And this one is just like that perfect color. So I really love this. But I'm kind of confused. I feel like Bite right now is being a sneaky little brown or with like a hidden agenda or something. Um, because they put this on sale for $12. Explain yourself. Like, Bite Beauty. Are you trying to get me to bite boycott you? Because if you're discontinuing this, please send me like 20 of them. This product right here is my pretty girl brow. No, but seriously, I freaking love this stuff. Um, this is, uh, I, I mean, so I recently tried the Goof Proof by Benefit, and I was actually so impressed by that. Love it so much. It's so easy to work with, so beautiful. I mean, it just glides right on. It's so stunning. But I just, they're the ones that help me discover my brow potential. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being dumb about this one, but I just love this. And I use the taupe. I was, I went through like phases. I used to be like really dark. I used to have really dark hair. Like this is my natural color, but I think I was even darker than that. Um, and so when I was there and I had that like rich brunette color, um, I was using chocolate and then I went down to a soft brown. And then I recently was like, okay, even soft brown looks a little bit too like rich. And so I started using taupe and I'm like, mm-hmm, we found our sweet spot. Thank the Lord. This next one is the Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara by um, L'Oreal. I always want to say Maybelline. I don't know why. I'm sorry, L'Oreal. I, I, I don't know why. That's my mistake. I'm sorry. But this is so good. It's just like, look at that. That tiny little, ooh, yes, baby girl. So I like that because you can get in, you can get really in and I'm wearing it right now, although it's been on me literally all day. I haven't touched up my makeup. I probably should have so it didn't look so freaking ratchet, but whatever y'all are cool, right? This is one of the, if not the best mascara you can get for bottom lashes because that um, little, what is that? Spoolie is so teeny, teeny, tiny. So you can like get real deep in there and like you don't even have to worry. Next stuff is kind of like random stuff that I have to use before I go to sleep. This is the Bath Bomb by Lush. I am so obsessed with this. I wish that they had this in um, just like a spray bottle like my Twilight spray. So I use this spray every night before I go to sleep. I like spray it on my pillow like so. Literally one spray is all I need because it's such a strong smell. Um, but I love this. I cannot sleep at night unless I spray, I'm gonna fall asleep right now, <laughs> unless I spray this on my pillow. I know it's weird, but I'm kind of like a ritual person and I like to have like little routines in beauty that just make me feel put together. Um, but yeah, so what it is like elderflower, um, jasmine, oh my gosh, what else is it? I don't know the name of it to, off the top of my head, but I will look it up and I'll put it in the description box because it is like the best bath bomb you can buy there, in my opinion, aside from the one, the lavender one and um, a few others, <laughs> except for every single one that's in the store. Okay, I have one more product and I know everyone's on the natural deodorant train, like 
that's great. I am down for everyone doing that. But like for me, I don't know. I just have to have this one. So this is the Clinical Strength Invisible Solid in Clean Lavender. I love this deodorant. It like actually works. I'm like really weird and I'm not trying to get like all gross on y'all, but like I have to have something that like keeps me from like, I just don't like sweating. Like I just don't, I just don't, I just don't like it. I don't like the smell. I don't like it. So I always use this and I have to. I love it. I need it. And I respect the natural deodorant thing, but I'm not getting on that train because I'm hooked on this stuff. I tried natural deodorant for a hot minute. It just wasn't for me. It just wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. It's for a lot of people. I'm not one of those people. I'm one of these people. I love this stuff. I'm not gonna stop using it. And I'll boycott the brand if it ever, you know, stops. This is probably the only brand where I actually jump on the launches and I'm like, oh my God, I have to buy it because it just came out. But this one like penetrates and it gets into my lips and it hydrates them and it makes them feel good and it makes them feel nice and full and I don't feel like they're chapped. And usually if I'm, I'm having like really bad chapping where like they're like cracking, if I put this on, they're, it's like done within a couple hours. So if you guys have chronically chapped lips like I do, check this out because you will not regret it. If you guys have tried maybe a product in here that you love to let people know in the comments below or maybe if there's a product that you guys have tried in here that you're not like obsessed with, maybe let people know as well, especially if it's a skincare product, let people know like what your skin type is um, and kind of what reactions you got from it because I feel like that kind of opens the discussion as to like what's good for people and if people are looking, I want to make sure that we are a good resource for everyone who is kind of looking for more advice, especially on skincare and stuff. Um, but yeah, make sure that you guys share your skin type because I feel like that's a big deal when it comes to finding products that are right for you. Um, and sharing your knowledge is always so appreciated. So I seriously thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Don't forget, if you guys haven't already, hit subscribe. And if you guys do want to be one of the first people to see the videos, hit the bell button because that will tell you when I'm posting new videos and all of that jazz. Um, also, as I said earlier, you guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, literally everywhere um, at Cordially K. Cordially K. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you again so much. Love you all. Until next time, I love you guys so much. Have a great day. Be nice to people. And mm, I think that's it. All right. Love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye, beauties.